Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I don't own because I am far too poor people to possess such a wonderful device. So luckily, Greg, you guys all remember Greg, right? Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, you guys remember me? You just talk shit in the back of my videos playing racing <laughs> simulators, pissed drunk. <laughs> Actually, most of you probably haven't been on my channel that long. Don't go looking for those videos, ignore them, they don't exist. But he offered to allow me to unbox his phone and touch it and get like emotionally attached to it. And then he's gonna take it from my hands and leave. And then I got to go back to my crappy iPhone, what, XS Max? I think it's an uh, XS Max. I don't, I, I don't even is. know at this point. It's got a cracked back and it pisses me off. So this particular phone right here is the 256 gigabyte version because Greg is also too poor people to get the best version. Isn't that right, Greg? I don't need it. <laughs> you don't need it? Do you, do you, do you believe in the, cr the cloud? The cloud. Greg, Greg is all about the cloud. I know a little bit about this phone um, from when Apple presented and it actually has quite a few changes on it. The most noteworthy being the three cameras. Warning, if you're one of my Android viewers, don't worry, I still got my Razer phone around here somewhere. Hold on, there you go. See, see, I haven't, I haven't fully given into the dark side. But I got an iPhone XS Max. See, look, we're, we're actually, you're holding it, you're recording on it. <laughs> it's garbage. Which actually brings us to the next point. <laughs> Paperweight. Greg, why do you call my phone garbage? This is the XS Max. No, this is the Razer phone. The XS Max is what we're recording on right now. So if you guys think the video quality is good, we're recording at 4K60 and Filmic Pro right now. I'll have links to it in the video description. Um, but this is definitely a better camera in every single possible conceivable way. So I am a little bit jealous. Is it okay for me to be jealous, Greg? Of course. Okay. That's Fantastic. why I got it. All right, well, let's open this up and uh, shed a couple of tears because after touching this, I don't think I'm gonna wanna go back to the crappy phone we're recording on right now. Do you think Apple will give me trade in on that? Uh, five bucks. Five bucks? <laughs> About, about tree fitty. Tree fitty? All right, so we gotta get close up of the cellophane. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. Oh. oh gosh, Apple sure knows how to present. Look at that, it's beautiful. Looks like every other box Apple has ever produced. This right. one's black. So does that mean it runs faster and has more storage? It's big, <laughs> bigger and runs faster? He's a good boy, Greg's a good boy. So on the back of the box, it says the iPhone 11 Pro Max includes ear pods with a lightning connector because they didn't go to USB-C. Aren't you kind of pissed about that? Yeah. Like like USB-C is the standard now. Like they even do it on the on the, the iPads. What the what the f Apple? USB-C to lightning cable include it. So you can now charge your phone from your iPad. Did you know you could do that? Hmm. If you have the new iPad with the with the uh, the USB C, you can actually charge your phone from it. I thought that was kind of cool. I tried it the other night; it works. All the usual stuff. It, it it literally tells you it's a telephone. Like I don't know why they even have to put that on there. It's called an iPhone. That's kind of dumb. Um, it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, which is near field communication, GPS, and some capabilities are not available in all areas. It just depends on where you live. So. If you live in Nairobi, this may not work as a phone, but you can still play Angry Birds. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Hearing aid compatibility, M3 and T4. Did you know that actually, I just learned that about iPhone. These things actually support hearing aids and I found out that some of the hearing aids sound absolutely fantastic, the sound quality. I didn't know this because you always think you get earbuds, right? But think about hearing aids that can tie into your Bluetooth and then when somebody talks to you, it like mutes it and then you hear them. Even though my hearing's kind of fine, I kind of want some hearing aids. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on hearing aids that don't cost like $5,000 because I have shitty YouTube insurance, I'm just kidding, that's not even a thing. I have to pay for my own insurance. Please put a link down in the comments and I will happily go buy them if they're no more than $5. All right, so it's the iPhone 11 Pro Max Space Gray, 256 gigabyte, designed by Apple in California, assembled in, where do you think it was assembled? China. Nailed it, man. I didn't think you'd get that one. I wonder if I had to pay the tariff on that. Or you not. did. You did, You most definitely paid the tariff on this. How much was it, Greg? How much did you spend on this? This this little phone that I want. Twelve ninety nine plus tax plus Apple Care. You know what pisses me off though? This is the. I think that's exactly what I paid for that one. I think I paid the twelve ninety nine. I think it was the exact price of the XS Max when it came oh, out. So no tariff. So, all right. Let's open the side bitch up. <laughs> Here we go. You ready for the dump? Here it is, guys. Unboxing. <laughs> all right. So boom. There it is, guys. Oh. Mm, mm, I hope you don't mind, Greg. Oh, yeah. Mm, I'm, I'm going to have coitus with your phone before you, you take it back. <laughs> so the space gray actually is really cool. And the neat thing is the back doesn't look like glass, but it is. It's actually like a frosted glass panel now. So let's do the, let's do the drop test. <laughs> you got worried, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Greg, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm a professional. I do this. I got Apple Care. I don't care. I do this at least once a year unboxing a product. So you can trust me. All right. So one of the things that I would like to mention that's really important, other than there's awesome cellophane even on this here. Come in here. We got to we we get the cellophane. You guys ready? What's oh, Apple? Oh, look. Cellophane on everything. Oh, it's so soft. Mm. Oh my gosh, don't you just want to like rub that on your- Hey Greg, what connector does that look like here? No, no, let's go take a look. Ball. Come on in here, let's see it. What is that? That's a USB-C. That is a USB-C. And, and what kind of connector is that on the bottom of the phone? What is that? That's not the bottom of the phone, that's the top of the oh, phone. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, I'm a professional. <laughs> Greg, I'm professional. Okay. <laughs> what connector is that, Greg? What is that? That's a USB-C. No, it is not. That what? is a lightning cable. I don't know. So, <laughs> Apple... Inclu at least they include the cable though. They do include the cable. This is a USB-C to lightning cable. I don't know why Apple didn't put USB-C on this. They did on the iPad. So why wouldn't they do it on the phone? I honestly, nobody has a really good answer for this other than they want it to work with all their old accessories. But why don't they just make an adapter? This is basically an adapter. Just make a little thing that goes on the tip of everybody else's little devices and cables and be fine. Like I don't, I don't get it, Apple, why? Oh my gosh. You know what though? I can tell this is heavier than the XS Max. So they did add some weight to it. I can, I, because I'm used to holding my XS Max. I can tell you this definitely feels significantly heavier. Looks like it might be a little thicker too. We'll do a side by side comparison. You can do. Can you I can hold do, it? Yeah, go ahead, hold it. What do you think? Pretty does, light. Does it feel the same as your other phone? It feels lighter than my eight. What? Where's your eight at? Give me, give me, give me your eight. You have a food scale, but it feels good in the hand. You know, doesn't it, Greg? Just feels good. Like, feels I mean, that feels great. like something I want to hold on to just a lot. You know. And with your finger going across the back, it doesn't interfere with the cameras. I kind of thought that camera bump was gonna be a big problem. Set it down here on the table. Oh, what? Now you get a little bit of the Roxy's. It's not as bad as the little narrow camera like on the XS Max though. So that, that's actually not too bad. And I'm still gonna go home with a shitty XS Max. <laughs> Dude, but seriously, the XS Max actually is still a pretty baller phone. I mean, is it though now? It looks like you get your pair of ear pods here that are adapted to a lightning connector. So I'm pretty sure you got these with the eight too, didn't you? Yeah. Cause the eight, uh, they removed the port by then, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you wanna use headphones, you have to use an adapter or you have to use something that already has the little lightning cable on it right there. Right. But I ain't worried about these. I don't care about these cause I use freaking Bluetooth headphones like real, like normal people. AirPods. AirPods. I can't afford AirPods. <laughs> I have to use whatever Sennheiser sends me. <laughs> okay, I wanna talk about this just for a second. There is something special about this little dongle other than it being USB-C, which means you can use it to charge other USB-C devices, including the iPad, but this is 18 watts and it's included in the box. Now, let me tell you why that's significant because the XS Max that I paid the exact same amount of money for came with, I believe it was a five watt and you have to pay extra to get the iPad dongle and you have to pay extra to get the USB-C to lightning cable so that you can charge it, I believe 15 watts is what I was able to get it up to. This is 18 watts out of the box. So this thing charges, like just so you know, Greg, this will charge so much faster off this dongle than it will off of plugging it in any USB port. Hmm. Unless it's a USB-C port, then it'll probably charge at 18 watts because USB supports that. All right, the cable, let's take a quick look at the cable here. Are these usually only like three feet or two and a half feet? Yeah, three feet. Huh, for some reason I remember these being longer, but yeah, this is just a USB-C to lightning cable. Really easy conversion. Uh, and I will point out that I haven't tried it with the iPhone 11, but on the XS Max, I was unable to get any better than USB 2.0 transfer speeds using the cable, even with this, mm. which I thought was really weird. The iPad transfers at high speed, but I couldn't get the iPhone XS Max to do it. So that's a test that we'll do later. I'll leave an update down below, but I wanna see if this thing can actually transfer to higher than USB 2.0 rate, because that would make this infinitely usable to people that record videos like myself. It better. Dude, I don't, it I don't want it. I'll throw in the garbage. You throw in the garbage. Yeah. You don't like don't even because it's too bad even to give to me, right? Mm -hmm. You just throw in the garbage, yep. and then make sure it's broken first, so I can't recover from the garbage. Because yep. that's the kind of friend you are, right? Yep. Okay, I got you. You don't you don't want to hurt the box because uh, Apple is such a popular company that this box alone is probably worth like a hundred dollars on eBay. You can have it, Jerry. I can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll add it to my pile. <laughs> <laughs> is it sad that I have a pile of empty iPhone boxes? All right, so here we go. It's gonna have some charge on it right out of the box. Is it on? Yep. Okay, we're booting. Mm. Let's see here. Here we go. It's first time booting up an iPhone 11 Max Pro or Pro Max, which Pro Max, right? Yeah, Pro Max. Guys, I don't research stuff before I make videos. I just make the videos. Hello. Okay? Does it say hello? Is it gonna say bonjour next? Hola. All right, so do you know Japanese? I don't know Japanese. Select your region. We are in the United States of America. Wow, it actually popped up on my phone and asked me if I'd like to transfer everything over. Greg, no. would, you, would you push continue? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, now you got to do the face ID. This is where they say it's 30% faster with this phone with the new uh, Bionic 13 processor. Greg, since you have a big head, you got to like roll it around and you might have to like have somebody hold the camera because oh, yeah, you can't like, put your arm that way. Yeah, see. it's like it's like learning like your melon. You may have to do it like two or three times because of the size of your head though. It's not doing it. See, Greg is new to Face ID because before this he had uh, iPhone 8, which I don't think it had it, did it? Because it had no. the home button thing. No. You were still rocking the home button, dude. You have face ID is like revolutionary. Except for when people take a picture of your face and like print it out and access your phone. Oh man, the concentration is hard with this one. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Look at this guy. Mm. Look at him work for it. Come on, Greg. My password is like long and hard. <laughs> <laughs> he actually wrote quick splat barnacles. You know that game you play when you're sitting on the shitter and then get really mad because it gets like harder than Thanos could even do, like after like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there can't already be an update for it. It like literally just shipped. Of course there's an update. I know. Here's a size comparison between the phone and the box. I bet you other reviewers don't do that. Actually, I bet you nobody has compared the size to a Razer phone though. So that's the size compared to a Razer phone. Right there, the Razer phone is much heavier and much squarer. Okay. You like that dark mode, don't you? Oh, no, I like that. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. It saves oh, battery life too. I don't remember the setup being this long. Like yeah. what? It's like every version there's more. All right, welcome to iPhone. All right, so we're in? We're in. All right, crank up the screen brightness to absolute max. So pull down from the top. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta teach you how to use this because you haven't had a notched phone without a home button yet. All right, so wow, it's not even up to half. Okay, crank it up. Whoa, that is a bright screen, dude. Yeah, it is. Holy crap. Hold on, let me look at this. We've got a lot of light in this room and it's having to step it down a lot, dude. Very, very bright screen. So I'll totally give it props for that. You know what I can tell you though that I don't like? Apple still doesn't use a 120 hertz refresh screen. Like I'm seeing that common on more and more devices now, but they still are just doing the 60, the old 60 frames per second. Um, black levels, not nearly as good. Uh, just looking at the screens, you can totally tell, but look how smooth that moves. You might not be able to tell on camera because this will be uploaded to YouTube at 30 frames per second, but see how smooth that is? And watch when I move this. See how there's just a little tiny bit? Mm. Don't tell me you can't see how smooth that is. It's Come like on. it's like glass. But I kind of know why they don't do that because there's uh, the higher refresh rate eats battery like crazy, and I know that they're just like battery Nazis now. They want these phones to last like as long as humanly possible. The reason I want this phone the most though is the camera because I do a lot of social media stuff. Okay, so you can capture outside of the frame which means for cropping. Tap and hold shutter to record a quick video. Oh, okay, I didn't know about that one. So it's saying now we're used to hold this down and record a bunch of photos. If you hold that down, it records a video now. Hmm. Oh, that's badass. That's absolutely badass. Okay, so, and there's your 2X zoom. And there's your super, oh wow, that is so wide, dude. <laughs> Look at how wide that is like close to me. It's, it's like a GoPro. Hey. I, I can see where that'd be useful. Can like, even get you in the whole frame. <laughs> <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> this is what makes this really cool is the old phones you couldn't zoom between the three lenses it would just it would just go to digital zoom for whatever lens you had selected on this one when you zoom in see how it transitions mm -hmm. so that's telephoto you'll see just a little tiny bit you see that little little like phantom where it switches the camera right there yeah. but now when you're recording a video you can actually zoom in and zoom out and it'll go between the cameras instead of just looking like crap so I think, I think that's a huge feature. So kudos, kudos for such a simple thing that should have always just been there. <laughs> and then look, look over here and say, cheese, I'm doing all the little different modes. Okay, now I'm gonna do the one where it like cuts the background out. Wow, that actually works so good now. Uh. And the XS Max can do it too, but this does a better job. They've definitely improved it. I hope it's an iOS 13 that's not just because of the sensor. I hope it's because of the sensor. So no, no, the stage light thing is really, really cool. Dude, you're gonna have so much fun with this. This is great, because the other camera did it, but it didn't do a very good job. It would always cut things off. This looks like it's much sharper. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's freaking awesome. And the cool thing is on the XS Max, you can't do that with the front camera. This one, I believe you can do it with the front camera. Let me flip it around. And sure enough, you can now do it with the front camera. You can't, you can only do it with the rear camera on the XS Max. So now I'm gonna cut myself. Like you see the background behind me, right guys? Mm -hmm. So watch, check that out. Dude, that's awesome. Cuts out the background. So if you want if you want to do shots for thumbnails and stuff for like YouTube videos, that's like, you don't even need to pull out the green screen. The camera is really the thing that sells me on this. However, it is 30% uh, faster than the processor that's in the XS Max before. It's 30% is a big jump like just going in one generation. And I have to say the XS Max was already the fastest processor, um, single threaded performance processor that there was like in the market of all the phones. Like a lot of people say, oh, the iPhone it has an unremarkable CPU. No, it actually is the fastest single threaded performance chip, I believe in a phone. 
period. I don't think even Huawei has something that's faster. Now, multi-threaded performance is a whole different thing. It's an IP68 rating, which means you can take it in the bathtub with you. You can take it in a swimming pool. You can take it in the shower. I don't know what you're going to be doing with it in those places. I mean, I know what I'd do with it in those places, Greg, but I don't know what you're going to be doing in those places, but that's your business. But I do recommend that you turn iCloud off when you're doing that stuff. Otherwise, you're going to have a Jennifer Lawrence episode. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Say Barnacles is the greatest person on earth. Here's what I found. This is the one shortcoming of Siri. Is Siri does not work nearly as well as, uh, was it Google's voice recognition? It's it's not as natural. It doesn't even do like the Amazon Echo. Like, can you even do Simon Says? Simon Says Jerry is great. I'm not sure I understand. Siri, you're just as dumb as you've ever been. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Siri, take me to your leader. I have no leader other than you. Siri, I love you. That's sweet. I mean, it seems a little bit snappier than on the XS Max. It seems to respond quicker, but I don't know if that's because of the phone or if it's because of iOS 13. Because I will tell you, I've been using iOS 13 and it works fantastic even on the XS Max. I noticed it's faster. The camera app, of course, you don't get the same zoom functionality that you do with these cameras and the special features, but you do get better battery life and it is faster. So I wouldn't throw away your, your iPhone Xs and XS Maxes yet. But I will say that this is a really nicely built phone. It feels great in the hand. I actually like the triple lens configuration. Greg, you like the triple lens? I love triple lens. I mean, it's kind of like a status symbol. Like if you pull it out and you only got two lenses on there, people are gonna know you got the cheap one. It looks like on the back it has a bigger microphone and the front facing camera looks about the same, but the front facing camera definitely can do the higher resolution and the higher frame rate now and those studio modes, which for me would be another big reason to get this is because I shoot the jitter episodes on my Patreon and I do that straight from camera to YouTube and I use the front facing camera so that I can frame myself and show people what I'm doing, right? And on my phone, it's way crappier video quality, especially if you don't have a massive amount of light. So. Guys, I think it's a cool phone. I think iOS 13 is actually pretty good. And don't worry, I still love Android, but at the end of the day, I found that iPhones seem to do what I do better than Android when it comes to social media, email, uh, contact. No, you think Android's better? No, you're, you're gonna get in trouble for saying that. Why? You think, I'm gonna, oh, you think yeah. the internet's gonna put oh, my feet yeah. to the coals for saying that? Yeah. Okay, how about here, I'll do, I'll do two takes, okay? So if you guys like Android, just stop listening now, okay? Just like fast forward 10 seconds. This is an awesome phone. This is a phone that I really want to get. I can't afford right now, but I'm going to use the money from you guys watching this video so I can go buy one and do a proper review, okay? So that's number one. Okay, so now Android guys, are you listening? Okay, iOS guys or iPhone guys, cover your ears or fast forward a little bit. Android guys, iPhone sucks. It's stupid. I, everything's better when it's Android and Google phone and Samsung and stuff, okay? What about Windows phone? What? <laughs> So, so honestly though, I'm happy with the build quality. I'm glad that they did the updates more to iOS. Like the hardware is cool, don't get me wrong. The, the new 30% uh, faster processor and the machine learning and AI stuff that this is capable of is actually really cool. Um, it is a big step up generationally than the previous phone performance wise. But I have to say the, the biggest improvement to the phone as a whole, the iPhone, is iOS 13. Like literally even if you have an older device. So I do recommend installing it and giving it a try. And hopefully it doesn't have that same bug in it that I reported on where I can just hijack your camera remotely and like watch what you're doing. They, f they fixed that one though, right Greg? I think so. Maybe. Well, not for the CIA. They, they've always had access to it. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed watching this video and until next time.